In this video, we're delving into the practice of short sellers trading AMC in dark pools to evade margin calls, their need for funding, and the forthcoming reduction in liquidity next week. Before we dive deeper, let's examine the situation. We've previously discussed how Citadel and other firms have faced fines for misrepresenting shorts as long positions. This tactic serves to conceal information and manipulate the market without explicit acknowledgement. Moreover, there's evidence of tokenized locate and market manipulation affecting AMC price. Ken Griffin himself has acknowledged the involvement of various firms, including his own, in setting AMC price. Given their significant stakes in AMC, these entities are motivated to manipulate the price downwards to mitigate their risks. This manipulation represents a coordinated effort by market makers, hedge funds, banks, and short sellers to frustrate retail investors and protect their synthetic and naked short positions. Their aim is to induce retail investors to sell their shares, enabling them to cover their short positions with real shares owned by retail investors. These entities are essentially insolvent and rely on third-party instruments like synthetic tokenized shares swaps and dark pools to stave off margin calls and fire sale liquidation events that could trigger a mother of all short squeezes. Hey, welcome to AMC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. The arsenal of tactics employed include synthetic tokenized shares, swaps, dark pools, options, and failure to deliver FTDS. Recent developments, such as BlackRock's sponsorship of Citigroup Reserve Fund and the latter's increased short positions in a MC signal financial distress among short sellers. The impending reduction in liquidity, particularly the $17 billion decrease in the bank term funding program BTFP this week and larger reductions expected next week until April exacerbates their predicament. While this doesn't guarantee an immediate most, it highlights the mounting difficulties faced by hedge funds and short sellers. Financial regulators are aware of the overleveraged state of many S banks, prompting discussions about increasing capital requirements. This move would particularly impact mid-sized and large banks heavily involved in lending to short sellers. Overleveraged banks are at risk of either closing out short positions or recalling loans, both of which would force short sellers to cover their positions. The closure of short positions would trigger payouts to retail investors, while loan recalls could prolong the squeeze, making it even more impactful. The astronomical increase in a MC short interest C to 37.37 million shares underscores short seller awareness of their precarious position and their efforts to minimize losses by driving a MC price down further. As liquidity dwindles and banks face increasing pressure, the squeeze on short sellers tightens. They are scrambling to secure margin by aggressively shorting AMC to maintain control over the narrative and minimize their exposure when funds run dry. This proactive strategy aims to keep AMC price low, thereby reducing the margin required to finance their positions when liquidity becomes scarce. In essence, the impending liquidity crunch and the escalating sea reflect a critical juncture where short sellers are fighting to extend their grip on the market, while retail investors anticipate a potential mother of all short squeeze. In addition to these developments, the narrative surrounding AMC price is multifaceted, while it may appear to be trading at $4.48 publicly. Transactions in the dark pool and other channels indicate higher prices. This discrepancy further complicates the situation as it underscores the opacity of certain trading venues and the potential for price manipulation beyond what is visible to retail investors. Furthermore, the actions of financial regulators and institutions like BlackRock and Citigroup are closely scrutinized within this context. The emergence of new players in the financial landscape, coupled with discussions around increased capital requirements, reflects broader concerns about systemic risk and market stability. These discussions add another layer of complexity to the ongoing saga surrounding an MC and its short squeeze potential. As retail investors continue to monitor developments closely, there is a growing sense of anticipation regarding the eventual resolution of this saga. The convergence of various factors, including liquidity constraints, regulatory scrutiny, and the actions of key market players, suggests that the situation is reaching a critical juncture. While the outcome remains uncertain, one thing is clear. The battle between retail investors and short sellers is far from over, and the stakes have never been higher. In conclusion, the story of a MC and its potential short squeeze is a complex and dynamic one, 
shaped by a myriad of factors ranging from market dynamics to regulatory intervention. As the situation continues to evolve, both retail investors and short sellers are navigating uncertain terrain, each with their own set of risks and opportunities. Ultimately, the outcome will depend on how these various forces interact in the weeks and months to come. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about AMC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.